Hi friends and welcome to Pre-K with Miss K. Today I am joined by Mr. Bayer and I am so excited. This is an experiment I've always wanted to do and I've never done it before. And my first time doing it is going to be with you guys and with Mr. Bayer. Today are we going to be having a Mentos experiment. Mentos are a mint candy that you can buy in a tall cylinder just like this. Okay, I got our experiment today from acs.org and I'll put the link if you want to check that out too for more information. For our experiment today, we're going to be learning about the Mentos and what happens when we put the Mentos into a pop or a carbonated water. So here we have our cup. What do you think is going to happen when we put in a straw into our cup? What's going to happen to the straw? What do you think, Mr. Bear? Uh, I don't know. Let's try it. Go ahead, Mr. Bear. Put it in. Let's look at the straw. What is forming all along the straw, Mr. Bear? Bubbles. There are bubbles forming all along this straw. And what happens to the bubbles as they get bigger? They float up to the top. top of the cup. So when we put in the straw, the bubbles form. Now we're going to try a pipe cleaner. What do you think is going to happen, Mr. Bear, when you put the pipe cleaner in? It gets bubbles. Whoa, look how fast. Look how fast the bubbles formed on the pipe cleaner, too. Guess what? Now we're going to try it with just one Mento. All right, what's going to happen? What happens to the Mento? What's it forming? All of those bubbles, lots of bubbles, even more than the other ones. So we're gonna learn about the bubbles. Why are these bubbles forming in our liquid? So bubbles are made up of a gas called carbon dioxide. Can you say that? Carbon dioxide, it's written like this, CO2, is another name for carbon dioxide because there's one molecule of carbon and two molecules of oxygen. So the carbon dioxide molecules, they collect on any tiny dense scratches and bumps. So even though these look kind of smooth, if you had a really high powered microscope, you would see that all along the straw, all along the pipe cleaner and all along the mento, there are lots of bumps and dents. So along those tiny dents, then they form all of the bubbles. So the carbon dioxide molecules form bubbles and then they rise up to the surface for our experiment today. We're gonna see what happens when we're not gonna add just one mento, but what happens when we add a whole container of Mentos to a whole big bottle of pop. We have a little Sprite and a Fanta and a Diet Coke. We're gonna have to take this outside because it's gonna make a big mess. Are you ready? Let's head outside for our experiment. Hi friends and welcome back to Pre-K with Miss K. Today we're going to try our experiment outside with our Mentos and our Pop. What's going to happen? We picked a rainy day so it would help clean up all this Pop mess. Are you ready? Let's count back from three. Three, two, one. Right, right? The green bottle went the highest. And do you know what made 